Before I get into just a few preliminaries here, let me give you my view of the 21st century. Jim Rohn's view of the 21st century. Here it is, number one. Unprecedented opportunity. If we can hold it together and not blow up the world. And hopefully we've backed away from contemplation of blowing up the world. The last of the instruments of the Cold War was called MAD. MAD, M-A-D, Mutual Assured Destruction. Where Russia boasted and said, we can destroy the world six times over. America said, that's nothing, we can destroy the world 36 times over. So we spent the Soviet Union and the Communist Empire into oblivion. The walls came tumbling down and maybe just Maybe we have finally backed away from the insanity of using our spectacular growth in education to kill each other. Surely a civilized society, number one, civilized means not to kill each other for what we want, but to negotiate for what we want. And then maybe the ultimate new world order is not just to negotiate, but to cooperate. Maybe, just maybe, we'll use our intelligence now for something far less than mass destruction. And maybe we will use our intelligence as human beings to cooperate and build a new world order, whatever dimensions that may take. Maybe, just maybe. So I said all that to say this. Maybe, just maybe, my prediction will come true and we will have in the 21st century unprecedented opportunity. In every field you can possibly imagine, the markets are emerging. Unprecedented opportunity in every dimension of life, every industry, every business you can possibly imagine. But now here's my second look at the 21st century. Number one is unprecedented opportunity. Here's number two, keen competition. But that's what life is all about. That's what democracy is all about. That's what democracy is all about versus communism, versus dictatorship, versus fascism, is competition. Opening it up. Surely Americans are ready to compete in the 21st century. Dust off our skills and dust off our imagination. Go back to work, pull up our socks one more time and go for the big competition called what? The world competition. And we don't need to be isolated from that. Somebody says, let's build a wall around our family. Let's build a wall around our country. Let's build a wall around our company and just, you know, hide behind the wall. I'm telling you, we don't need to do that. Uh, America can compete. We've done it before. Let the juices flow. Drop the handkerchief and let the games begin. You know, the 21st century, come on. We can still influence the world, influence every industry that we want to. No reason why we can't do that. Now, here's what you're going to have to have in the 21st century. My opinion, and that's called multiple skills. We've all watched, right, with anguish, some of the people the last 15 years, 20 years that had a single skill. And the company got downsized and the division got chopped. And unfortunately, they only had one skill. Don't be caught with just one skill. If a guy that worked in the steel industry, right, for the last 20 years, and finally it got shut down, if only he would have taken an accounting class two evenings a week for the last three or four years. Anything not to be caught with a single skill. And here's why I'm challenging you to develop multiple skills. You do not lack the capacity. And with computer classes now and all the rest, there's no reason why people cannot have several skills at their command, both business and social and personal. But I want you to advance your powers of learning here to get busy on tapping the resources of your own capacity. It's all there. It just needs to be provoked, stimulated, challenged, taught, tutored, trained, and if you'll be willing to put yourself through the processes, there's no telling what you can learn that'll get you ready no matter what winds blow. In the 21st century, you'll be steady in the storm, able to take advantage of opportunity and miss the dangers and accelerate your life in whatever dimensions you want and build the equities you want for yourself and for your family.